Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today's tutorial on HTML5 is aimed at designers looking to migrate to HTML5 but aren't really sure where to start and or may have reservations on cross-browser compatibility. As you probably know, the initial problem with creating a HTML5 layout is that older versions of Internet Explorer, like IE6, don't support the new HTML5 tags. Because older IE browsers don't know anything about HTML5, they don't recognize the new markup and simply ignore it altogether. It's a shame because these new semantic elements allow designers and developers to structure their code with meaningful tags. Let's check out a quick example of this and show you what we mean. So I've just opened up one of uh, Dreamweaver CS5's uh, built-in HTML5 templates. And as you can see, the template file includes some of the new HTML5 markup tags like the header tag, the nav, things like section, article, right the way down to the HTML5 footer tag. So I've not really done much to this page, I've just saved it and uploaded it to the internet. If I switch to Safari, you'll see that the page looks as the template intended. You can see the header area up here with the green background, the nav tag here with the navigation elements. You'll see this brown footer area amongst other things as well. So this is how the page should look. Safari like uh, Firefox and Google Chrome will load all the HTML5 tags correctly. However, if we take a look at the same page in older versions of uh, Internet Explorer, so here's my virtual PC. And I've just got this uh, program called the IE Tester. And this allows me to see uh, anything on the web on uh, the various versions of uh, IE. So here's IE6, and you can see 7 and 8. And essentially, it's the same, unfortunately, on all three of these browsers. The header tag hasn't loaded, the nav tag has failed to load, and thus any subsequent styling um, has failed to load as well. And again, you can see here, we compare this to our Safari version. We're even missing the uh, background on our footer. So if as a web designer, you choose to create your website with HTML5 markup, you want to address this problem. Otherwise, your website is going to load incorrectly for the minority of users running an old version of IE. The good news is, is that this is very easy to do using a simple combination of JavaScript and CSS you can tell IE how to handle and display these foreign HTML5 tags. Let's take a look. So back to our HTML5 template. Um, let's look first of all at the CSS that we can use to uh, bridge this gap and this uh, cross-browser compatibility with uh, the older versions of IE. Now the first thing to bear in mind is that all website browsers um, have default CSS that they load for a page. So, irrespective of having a style sheet or not, there are certain styles uh, applied to tags by default by all browsers. Uh, take for example the, the div tag or even the HTML tag. These are given the CSS property of display block. Now because the browsers don't recognize these HTML5 tags like we've decided to discuss, we need to replicate this default effect on our style sheet. So here's my style sheet for our HTML5 template from Dreamweaver. And all we need to do is simply add in a little bit of uh, CSS that's going to bridge this, uh, bridge this problem for us. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in just to save time. And let's paste it perhaps up here at the top. So just put a CSS comment here, HTML5. And as you can see, all of these sort of positioning HTML5 tags, article, aside, details, fig caption, figure, footer, header, H group, menu, nav, and section, we're essentially replicating this default behavior of a browser by asking them all to be displayed as block. So that's the first stage. The second stage is we need to add a little bit of JavaScript to the page to essentially create these HTML5 elements for our um, older browsers. Now a technique has been, uh, a sort of name for this technique has already been coined and it's known as the HTML5 shiv. And all that you simply have to do is inside the head tag is open up a script tag obviously specify your type let's just close that down what you want to do is go document create element 
And let's perhaps do the first one, I don't know, the header tag. So what this does is it creates an HTML5 uh, element for the browser. But one thing you'd need to do with this though is make one for each of the uh, HTML5 tags. So you'd have to make one for header, one for footer, and so forward like that. Um, now you probably want to going to collate all of these on a separate external um, uh, JavaScript page, for example. However, what I'd recommend doing is using the uh, the Google HTML5 shiv script. So let's just delete that. And let's just bring back Safari. Okay, so simply Google HTML5 shiv or just click on the link on our uh, supporting blog post. And essentially Google Docs have made available this uh, little bit of code here. So let's just copy this and take this over to our template, paste it in the header. As you can see, so it's basically saying if uh, the browser IE version is below nine, so if it's uh, IE6, IE7, or IE8, it's gonna run this uh, external JavaScript for us. And this is directly sourced from the uh, Google code server. So the good thing is about this is that it's going to be constantly updated if there's going to be any uh, tweaks or optimization to that file. So the Google HTML5 shiv contains everything for creating each of those HTML5 tags like we were just looking at a moment ago with the JavaScript uh, create element function. So let's upload our page. So that's uploaded and then let's bring back our virtual PC. Reopen IE Tester. Let's refresh IE6 and you'll see our HTML5 layout's now behaving itself. And we've got the footer and everything back in. Same on IE8 and IE7. So in conclusion, we'd encourage all designers and developers to start the switch over to HTML5 if you haven't done so already. With just a little CSS and the help of Google's HTML shiv, you can be assured that all browsers, including our dear old friend IE6, will handle your site equally. Hope this video tutorial has been of some help. Please leave any questions, comments or contributions on the supporting blog post or on our YouTube channel.